Okay, ladies and gentlemen. This is a new shirt I got for Christmas. Zeta. We're not talking about Gundam Zeta here. We're talking about the final episode. Season 1, episode 12. Mobile Suit Gundam, Witch from Mercury. Gundam. Um, the episode was called Witch from Mercury. This episode was... I've been watching Gundam for a while, okay? And by my count, what happened at the end of this episode, there's only one other Gundam series I saw that that kind of thing happened. And that, I think, was narrative. Mobile Suit Gundam narrative. If you guys want to go check that out, it's a movie. Really? Mobile Suits... Doing certain things to people, actual people, doesn't happen often. Now, I could be wrong, but then again, I never saw the complete series of Gundam Victory. Because we've seen everything in Gundam. I've seen everything in Gundam. I've seen Zeta, I know what how gory that is. Uh, double Zeta. Um, but Victory is pretty, pretty grim. You know. Now, let's get beans and potatoes first of what really happened in this episode. Um, the Earth witches are there. We, we've already established that. Um, some notable OMGs happened in this episode. The first OMG, but let's, you know, get to what really happened. You know, they're, they're there, and, you know, the Sophie girl, she's confronting Soletta. Ah, Soletta, she's shooting her, and all that stupid shit. Um, so Soletta's on the run. Marine is on the run. Um, eventually Marine, let's talk about her first, she runs into her father. Um, and she's telling her, he's telling her to fuck the normal suit, and blah, 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 blah. Explosion happens, and we find out that Delling... Her father got a piece of debris stabbed in his back. So that happened. Majority of the episode, really nothing crazy happened. It was just a lot of fighting, a lot of destroying. Until Mika was in the ship with the other kids. And one of the Gundam witches from Earth was going to kill him. She put in a signal... And she went away. One of the kids saw her do this. And it's like, what were you doing? So, woohoo! Mika has been found out. And chances are, they're going to question her. And chances are, she's going to have to come clean. That she's in league with Prince, what's his face? Shadik. Um, That happened. The other OMG moment was Ghoul, who, you know, was trying to, he, he heard one of the people on the ship saying it's a Gundam, blah, 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 Saleta, blah, 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 Ariel. And, <clears throat> you know, he goes and he commandeers a, a mobile suit. He wants to go and saves her or what have you. When this happens, at the moment it happens... There's a mobile suit attacking him. And I thought to myself, call me crazy. But in that mobile suit, isn't that ghoul's father? They fight each other. They fight each other. Ghoul stabs the mobile suit. Guess what? It's his father! And his father is... Yeah. Now, personally, I thought in this episode we were going to have two dead parents. Oh, I guess, I guess now we have to call him, kill him all Tomino, the parent edition. Oh, that's a terrible joke. But anyway, it explodes. He screams. This is getting really crazy. So those were really the two OMG moments. Nika finding out 
by one of the students of the Earth Group, of the Earth, you know, group project, you know, who are with Soletta and Mary, that it seems like, oh, now, me, she's, well, she's in league with somebody. And because how was she able to do that and get the Gundam to leave? <clears throat> and this OG, o OMG moment, which is Ghoul, who apparently just killed his daddy. Okay. Um, eventually what happens during the episode is that a lot of shit goes down, a lot of back and forth. Uh, the group, the, uh, where the Earth, the Earth, which is a from, the ship, guy realizes they have to leave, you have to get going, gotta get doing it. And, and get him, uh, Delling, killing Delling, and, uh, you know, that, that sort of thing. There was a lot of in-betweens between that, that whole thing. Eventually what happens, Soleta gets away, she's able to get to the hangar. At this moment is when I thought to myself, something's up here. There's some soldiers there. They hear something. She almost gets, but no. Her mother comes in, kills them all, along with this other dude. So let us seemingly is freaking out. Now, her mother calms her down by saying, you know, one step forward, two step forward, you know, that sort of thing she was saying during during the anime. Now, this is just my theory, because I'm about to tell you guys what happens at the very end after her battle with the Earth Witches. And I personally believe, so, well, it's not a surprise at this point. So let his mother is using her daughter to get revenge. That's what this is really about. And using her in a way to kill other people. And I personally think because of this, Soleta doesn't like we're talking like I don't want to use the word of hero Yui kind of mentality or any of those mentalities of because there have been other Gundam pilots who, you know, they don't they just you know. No mercy. No mercy during battles. Now, remember, this is the first Gundam anime that has a Gundam female pilot. So, but that happens, and she cry, She calms down, and she gets to Ariel, and then she has her fight with the two Earth Gundams. This fight is insane, especially when she pulls out... Because the gun, Ariel is, is, is totally different now. And the headpiece is different. And she's it's ready for space and everything. She has this gun. She's fighting them, you know. She's fighting the Sophie girl. You know. It's a pretty good action sequence. Until Solita pulls out her... Her basically... I, the only thing I can describe it as a cat. Uh, laser rifle, beam laser rifle, beam rifle, that she adds the gun bits to it. And the beam is green, and it was holy crap. It was like, shoo, you know? And Sophie's like, you kind of, I'm not really a fan of that. So Sophie's under that, that tier of Gundam female characters who have a few screw looses. But regardless, this deters them because these guys come in and they have to evacuate. And basically, it's a failure. We see the prince, you know, Shadik. He has no expression on his face. Like, dude, your mission failed. Why are you... And then we see Aelin saying, oh, Earth Gun, Earth Witches. So now we have... Um, Soleta with Ariel and the two Gundams from Earth. Now, 
beside the thing with Dika, beside the thing with Ghoul, the huge, massive WTF that I was shocked. I was like, ah! was the ending. In the ending scene, the way I look at this, come on. Marine is with her father. He's on a bed. She's carrying, she's dragging with this on a girdy, you know, like, and this dude who says, oh, I'm going to kill Dylan with a gun is pointing at Marine. Now, here's the thing. I've never seen this done in any, any Gundam anime. It's never been done. Now, I haven't seen all of Victory, and I haven't seen all of um, other Gundam series, like X and, you know, what have you. But I've never seen this. Here comes Ariel. Now, logic would dictate that she could probably, oh, I don't know, Use her gun bits, you know, like pull it out and just shoot the guy. Oh, it breaks the leg. Room. She takes Ariel using the hand. The hand. Boom. Fucking flattens this guy. There's blood everywhere. And all that's remaining of him is his arm floating in space. Literally, I was blown away by this. Like, the blood was the same color as her hair. And what? Mary's reaction? How can you smile like that? And she calls her a murderer. And that is the final scene of episode 12 of the final episode of Gundam Witch Remember. Honestly, all right. I can understand Mirren's reaction, but Mirren, you need to understand one simple thing. This is war, okay? This is war, and a dude with a gun was gonna kill you and your father. So, okay, you wanna call her a murderer? Mm. Yeah, but what about the people that were attacking us? They're attacking you guys. Aren't they murderers too? It's like, when someone says that in a Gundam series, I want to just look at them like they have five heads on their shoulder. Like, that's how it goes. Overall, this was a fantastic closeout to this season. The questions... And the mystery for season two is going to be massive. You have Nika, who has now been found out to be in cahoots with Prince Shattuck. You have Ghoul, who killed his father. Now, I don't know where that's going to go. That's probably going to go over uh, there. It's going to be insane. And now this scene with Mirreen and Soleta. In my opinion... So Letta, I mean, it's no surprise. I mean, we saw the prologue. She killed like four dudes. And she was smiling while she was doing it. You know, they, 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 she was bred in conflict and war. That's the way I look at it. And Mary Reen saying, how can you smile like that? You're a murderer? Obviously, you don't realize what's going on here. Because that's what... <laughs> the thing that... And I'm going to end this real quick. But the thing that brings me back is her mother. Soleta's mother. Our Char clone of this series. And I don't think... I think, you know... Shattuck, he's not surprised, which has to be worried. Like, he's going to probably, he's going to do something else. But, based upon how Soleta's approaching things, 
and how she looked at her. No. You know, go, go. Hey, hey, Marie, why don't you talk to her mother? <laughs> See what she has to say. <laughs> but her shock value, her, her face was shocking. She, she, she couldn't believe that happened. But the fact of the matter is this. If she did nothing, you would have been dead. So calling her a murderer is kind of hypocritical. But she's never been exposed to this, Marine. As far as I know, she hasn't been exposed to this. So that may be typed into account. Overall, this gets a 10 out of 10. I cannot wait for the spring when this comes out. This is Malkai Night 22. Tell me what you guys think about that ending. I'm going to put spoilers. Spoilers in the title. That we're building, they will be in the title. You know, I'll say spoilers. You know. Yeah. I'll see you guys later. Peace.